afternoon. What up? <laughs> it's been a while. It's been a while. How, How are, are you, man? I'm not too bad. Just getting in, getting out of the uh, the midday heat. Uh, it's Basically. not that midday heat. It's just humid. Now. The humidity is picked up in the last hour or so. So. Are you in D.C. area still? Yeah, just above the D.C. Yeah, just what, above D.C. What's the weather like there? Today it is 84 and sunny. Oh, that's <laughs> not too bad. That's, that's great. Good. It's great, but it's it's also August humidity, which is like... <gasps> <laughs> yeah, I feel but that. I, like, <laughs> I, I mean, I'm complaining. I'm not, I'm not really complaining because... Up until was it Friday of last week? It was it was like ninety five high humidity, you know, no rain in in ten days kind of moment. <laughs> oh, I feel that it was the same here. It was like, uh, sorry, let me put my thing on. Do not disturb. Um, <clears throat> yeah, it was like a hundred degrees for months and months without rain. I was like, dang, we had to buy like a little hose attachment to water plants while we were gone it's like wow. it's crazy so i'm glad it's fall i like fall you know uh, i'm a fan of summer i actually i do like the summer this is like my peak body time i'm i'm in i'm in that spot where i can just like walk out the house like hey you have an exercise let's go ride 60 to 80 miles just, just ride just I, I'm I'm in that I'm in that kind of mood. You know, September, October, I can do that, but I know how sore it's gonna feel when the weather when it hits that fifty, and you know, you know, your knees go. Guess what? You shouldn't have exercised that much. <laughs> That's like David Goggins mode. Like uh, I'm gonna do a thousand miles on a bike on a whim. It's like Forrest. Gump, I, I, get, I get I get I get my moments. I actually I, I'm I ought to be training for another long. I say long ride. Um, I did in with no prep, no training, no prep in March. Um, I did a rail to trail trail that goes from um, York, Pennsylvania uh, down to Baltimore. And then I said, you know what? I, I live 20 miles, a 20 mile bike ride from Baltimore. I'm just going to keep going and ride home. And I got, you know, and I was, I was mentally prepared for it, but physically my body was like, yeah. And then like the night before, we got a cold snap so everything froze the night before so i'm like man i can't leave as early as i want to i gotta wait till things thaw out right <laughs> oh my god so how 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 many miles is that how long i did i did 60 of the 75 miles uh, I, yeah i could i couldn't i couldn't do the rest i had a there's a city in this area ellicott city that's literally in a valley it floods out every hundred years but every hundred years has been like every five years uh, <laughs> lately yeah. and so it's the one of those real deep valleys you know and then you got to come out of the valley and it's like nah i didn't think i was gonna be able to come out of the valley so <laughs> well you made it here you are like yeah. it worked <clears throat> how many yeah. days were you laid up afterwards half a day oh that's not bad yeah it's like it, it doesn't take i mean for me, um, and this is funny because we talk about all the all the fun tech and wearables and all. One of the things I've learned from all of the quantified stuff that I've been tracking is how I recover and what what recovery looks like for me um, on the harder days. So on that ride, and it's, it's similar to you, my usual long longer days on the bike. Um, I'm doing ten percent of what I did for that long day the next day. So if I did a 60 mile ride, I'm going out for six to 10 miles the next day yeah. um, just to spin the legs, just to move things around. It's probably a yoga day also. So, I mean, I'm, I'm getting, I'm doing all of the recovery things. I've got the compression sleeves for my knees and my ankles, you know, to go and I'm doing all of these things. And so I'm generally, you know, within a day, I'm actually able to go back out and go do something again, go do the same distance again. So that's just really <laughs> Is it, do you feel like part of it is that like internal habit thing too, where it's like, oh, I'm supposed to get up now and it's like, I need to get on my bike and this is the time of day where I do that thing and it um, just like takes over? On the, I would say that's kind of more of a Saturday, Sunday. 
um, kind of yeah. kind of moment. So um, as a part of in the very beginning of lockdown, very, very the very very beginning of of it hitting here, um, I stopped driving my car. I purchased the e-bike and the e-bike was perfect for getting around. It was like, the car doesn't got to move. I don't have to go to an office. Yeah. E-bike, e-bike for everything. The car didn't move for, for the next seven months. Yeah. <laughs> That's <was> good <laughs> it though. It didn't move. I mean, it was, there was dust on it. That, like people like sell me, get rid of me, pick me <laughs> up. It was really, it really didn't move. And so I ended up getting rid of the car and this was, you know, a dream car, but I wasn't driving. I wasn't going yeah. anywhere. So I ride regularly i have a i'm a a regular cadence of jumping on the e-bike or jumping on the brompton i'm always riding but my riding is is split almost 50 50 between transportation riding for transportation and riding for recreation and the riding for recreation bits which are which was usually get out in the evening early evening like 4 4 30 you know right after the heat of the day go out for a nice hour two hours i go out for 15 to 20 miles i call it chase the sunset oh Um, nice you know just go out and ride get back and i get to go i get golden hour on the way back it's like a really meditative and contemplative bit that's something that's a that's kind of the um scaled you know the this is this is how i roll um the weekend it's hey let's go get 30 miles plus in the books and work off the week get things off the brain, explore something I hadn't explored in a while. Um, and that's fun. That's just, that, that's just a fun ride. That's the, there's no speed or anything. It's just pick a direction. All right. What do I want to do? You know, yeah. like last and last weekend was, a uh, the wildlife refuge There's a wildlife refuge about five miles away. So it was right. It was bike through the wildlife refuge and it's miles and miles of gravel, <laughs> fun, you know, fun, <laughs> you know, so it's, it's go out and enjoy, and take that off. So to that end, no, it's, it's, it's scheduled, but it's not scheduled. Yeah, I feel that. I think, uh, I think there's something to be said for that exercise. It like breaks loose thoughts and ideas that wouldn't mm-hmm. ever come through or like solidifies things and makes connections that you wouldn't otherwise. Mm-hmm. And I think it's <clears throat> like some of the research we've done into connectomics, it's, it really is you have to embrace the fact that your body is part of your brain. Your nervous system is all a single functional unit. It's not like, oh, just the space between your ears is is the part that does the work. Like I've even found, like we've done a massage and weird things will trigger during a massage. And I realized, well, it's like, yeah, someone's like literally poking your brain. It's just like in your side or your arm or something. Yeah. It's part of your brain. And you had like facts or insights or ideas like stored in your left elbow that you had <laughs> no idea about. It's like, yeah, oh, there that, we go. yeah that, that's the only intentionality of, I think the intentionality is that I get in motion and I, and I do regular motion, you know, like the evening going out right before, you know, that 4.30, 5 o'clock six o'clock window that's actually pretty regular for me it's either i'm going for a bike ride or i'm going for a walk that's i mean it could be raining and i go for a walk i don't really care there's there's something about that that clicks um and it's not just like transition from maybe what i was working on which if you will office life because my office and my not office are 20 feet from each other (laughs) life bleeds into one stream right it, it it does and it doesn't. So I um tell you for chatting with you here. I'm on the work i the work iPad. <laughs> yeah. Really? You have two? You have a different device for each one? I had three at one point. <laughs> Wait, what were the three? Like entertainment, work, and like just personal or what? Um, I had so I originally had I started with two. I had basically that was the twelve inch dedicated to just work stuff. Yeah. And then I had an 11 inch um, that was dedicated to, I call it the evening weekend computer. Yeah. Um, so I, I don't do Mac, Windows. I, yeah, I, I, right I, right I, I leave. Away. Yeah, I leave that for old people. Um, you know, I, I, yeah. <laughs> tablet only. <laughs> so um, it happened. I, I got in the, I had gotten a pro, the 12 inch, and I got an 11 inch pro. And I was like, okay, well, for my birthday, I want to treat myself. I'm going to do the treat myself. So I did 
I'm going to go for the 12 inch. When they come out with the brand new M1 yeah. Pros, I'm going to get the M1 Pro, you know, spec it out where I want. I'm going to get it engraved. Yeah. Da, 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 da. So I did that, but <laughs> they were having trouble, you know, fulfilling orders quickly. I think it came yeah. out in like April. And I was like, yeah, we'll get it to you by June something. I was like, oh, I think I can wait. And it might have been like the middle of May. And I was like, I can't wait anymore. So I went out and purchased an 11 inch. The 11 inch came in like a week before the 12 inch did. So I was like, oh, I got 11, a 12 and an 11. And <laughs> it's like, oh, this is cool. I'm just going to just use all three. I'm just going to swap between all three of these. I'm just, I'm literally just going to pick one up. I'm going to look like that scene in Star Trek, the next generation where they're just picking up tablets yeah. and just working, they're, you know, this, this seamless, I'm going from one thing to the next. Um, yeah. However, there was a line, the 12 inch one, um, because I was doing federal work. Um, federal and state work i needed to make sure that i had a device that was if you will cold right. um that wasn't that wasn't as connected to items so there were certain apps programs connectivity that wasn't allowed on the on the 12 inch it isn't allowed on the 12 inch it's yeah, that's very much For the work device. yeah just a, sure. it, i mean it doesn't really need it per se um but i'm a little anal as well well, like like that compartmentalization too. You know, like when I grab this one, okay, I'm in that mode. Mm -hmm. It just it like changes your mode a little bit, which I think is super helpful in those scenarios where, yeah, I mean, it's like the whole the whole thing. It's like what you're working on, who you're working with, like communication style, like expectations, requirements. It's just an easier transition. Yeah, super interesting. But yeah, I'm super curious to hear, like, because I know you've gone super deep in, I mean, all the wearables, like even the Snapchat stuff, like, yeah. like they, break they... it down like a fraction for me. Like, what, <clears throat> what did you learn after? I mean, you've been doing this for years. Yeah, I've, I've, I've honestly had experiments for a long, long time. Um, and they, they're all just experiments. I'm just, I'm literally just exploring what's there. And then I'm trying to ask a better question. I actually was writing a writing in my journal today about just the um, the article about that was testing touchscreens in cars and um, saying how crappy they were. And I'm like, well, yeah, but you don't put the same affordances on physical things that you do on virtual machines, and that means we weren't thinking about the interface properly. It doesn't mean it was designed wrong, you know. Um, and that's where wearables come in. It's like, okay, what about computing? Are we thinking about? Um, when we use these pieces. Um, so for like the vision-based stuff, uh, Snapchat spectacles, the Ray-Ban stories, the um, Bose ones, the, the view, um, yeah. I still got those as well, um, view glasses. It's like, okay, what are they actually augmenting? You know, obviously they're doing prescription glasses, you know, handicap, you know, if you will, disability help for vision, but then what about the hearing or memory are they augmenting? Um, Snapchat spectacles um, is a, for them, it's a half step to augmented reality or augmented visual reality. Um, however, I think they kind of, they went, you know, the long way around by saying, okay, well, let's first augment your memory. Let's take the things that Snapchat does inherently well, you know, instant erythral, instantaneous kind of snap of who of what's going on mm -hmm. and let's give you a means of kind of playing that back and then maybe tweaking with your memory a little bit tweak a little bit of what you think about it or or how you think um for those folks that like to play with lens studio and the filters and all that in snapchat the glasses actually really they they extend whatever about your memory or whatever about yourself that you want to express and um their upcoming spectacles the new ones that look like mean glasses actually they're like the little whole glasses mean they they are pushing into the, okay can we like actually augment the world in an active manner not a passive you know after after the fact manner right. um i think that so for me that, that that's been that part of that lesson it's like okay how is it trying to augment my memory and i generally wear my spectacles when i'm cycling <laughs> yeah. which for me was you know one of the rules of being pulled over by a cop have a camera kind of moment and it was like but when you're riding you don't want to sit down and pull out a phone you want to right. capture the moment and then maybe relive it you know or relive a piece of it that was fun etc cetera, etc cetera. and that's where I think the spectacles really have been aha an aha moment and um 
hey, I can capture this right now. I don't really have to look at it immediately. I can come back and look at it later. Oh yeah, I remember riding this road. I remember, oh yeah, I saw that classic car as I was rolling, da da da. And I've got this memory vault of stuff. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, I might have a memory vault of falls because there might be a few, there might be, a, there are definitely a few flats um, that were kept <laughs> by the spectacles. Definitely the flats, nails and all they got me. Um, so that's that part for the for the vision stuff, for the uh, hand, wrist, that kind of stuff, Apple Watch or a um, NFC ring, NFC ring. Um, that one is different. I, I see those more as um, physical tokenization. Um, what do you mean by um, that? Uh, how do we, you know, so the aura is, is in that line of quantified self, um, you know, piece, but it's really like, how do you tokenize a piece of who you are? Mm -hmm. um, how do you, how do you not make it reputationally great, but what about, what about it increases your value or your wealth, your, your value to self, your wealth to self? Um, aura has been good. It's been uncommonly good. And I, uh, I think I'm still at the front of their, their user base um sort of those folks that tried it early and keep going um and what they found you know the, they did with the, the study with the WNBA that was really dope um that improved across the board improved their metrics for tracking women's specific health which was freakingly dope <laughs> um that was just dope that was really dope um and then they did the study the COVID study with the uh, University of California San Diego which was extra dope um can wear well they they can wearables predict COVID, mm -hmm. which at one glance is like eh, why would you do that at another glance it was like well we already know that heart rate heart rate variability body temperature are all signs of being sick in any way shape or form or a catalog those. <laughs> Is there a pattern to how you get sick with COVID versus how you get sick with the flu? There just happens to be a pattern. <laughs> There's particular temperature variations and HRV drop, things that happen that are different between flu, common cold, allergy, COVID. Well, damn. Wait, do the other wearables do this? So Fitbit jumped in in the study. I think Apple eventually jumped in the study and well, what do you know? A wearable can kind of tell you that you're sick before you know that you're sick. You know, you get a two to three day window of, hey, you should probably up your ginger intake. <laughs> You're not feeling good. Go get some more sleep. You, you get those pieces where I'm like, yo, that's, yeah, it's quantified self, but it's token, is a, is a token of yourself. It's like, hey, these particular things add, can add value to you. And if you're looking at it over time, um, to which I'm, I'm really glad the well wellness tracking aspects are following a bit more what Aura and Sports Tracker have done of getting people to look at trends over time instead of, hey, you just need 10,000 steps. You don't need 10,000 yeah. steps. Right. You need consistent movement. You need not to be idle every hour, da, 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 da. Getting people, folks to be able to look at things over time, you know, hey, you didn't sleep good tonight. The next three days you need to like actually concentrate on going to bed on time, getting up on time, you know, that the, those kind of things um, are, are good. You know, the, 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 those are society lifts. Those, those bring up you know, I think bring up everyone. And as different folks have uh, talked about what works and what doesn't work from work from home from a mental psychosocial point of view, those those tokens of wellness, I think, rise a little bit more. Are you sleeping? Are you disconnecting from work? Do you need to get the, you know, the blue screen glasses? Da, 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 da. All of those things, um, I think the finger wrist wearables have done a good job of, of, of calling into attention. Um, and then I have one more, um, EOS. It's a payment ring. It's a, it's a ring that enabled the payment enabled, which is freaking dope. Um, yeah, because you can pay for stuff with a ring. And it's like, why would you pay for stuff with a ring? Well, nobody spare, carries spare cash, but you can put spare cash on a ring. And I was like, damn, that's actually smarter than just having Apple Pay. Because if you yeah. just have Apple Pay and it doesn't work, but if you got spare cash on a ring, dude, duh, damn, that works. Um, that's the other ring. That one's not being worn at the moment I'm, since I'm home. But <laughs> wait, so how how does that work? You just load it with, from your bank account, and then how do you pay? It's NFC from your account? yeah, just a tap. Yeah, tap with the terminal and pin code and pin that you that you set up. Um, ESOS. Yeah, that's the the company. 
Um, it took me a while to find a U.S. based company that was doing that. That was really difficult Interesting. Um, to find that. But they um, they're, they're not selling the current version. Good job. It looks like trash. It it looks like some. It looks like a piece of PVC pipe that you cut out of Home Depot and <laughs> toss it in your ring. As a kid, you know you would like doing that. It's like Power Ring. And adult, you're like, what is this big piece of non ornamental? <laughs> yeah. It's like, where is this guy coming from? <laughs> but then, you know, in my circle of cafes that I visit, though, that's actually some of the questions that happen. It's like, okay, what tech are you playing with today? I'm like, oh, I might have the glasses on. I might have the glasses It might be the ring. Yeah. yeah. Because what I think folks do recognize is that wearables offer a chance to actually own a little bit of that agency back so where maybe your phone feels is now feeling a little bit more intrusive i can't help but have it i can't help but pull it out um you have a watch that ain't as busy as a phone my watch is my dumb phone so mm -hmm. do i need a dumb phone or maybe a watch that's a phone you know i've got rings that can pay for things or track things do i really need to carry the phone all the time for those bits and it's like, well, no, I don't need that slab of glass and I can still get some of the benefits of connectivity. And I think that's where wearables, you know, do the right thing. Um, and there's probably probably a potential for more and there's definitely a potential for more nefarious stuff because, you know, with Aura, for example, it can 100% do gate tracking, um, which is one of those unique identifiers for who you are. <laughs> right. Yeah, for sure. And, gate plus temperature plus sleep means you know 100 percent know who these people are <laughs> yep. and you it probably is. know where they are <laughs> you know that's, that's the authentication like, system of the future is just your unique connectomic signature is mm -hmm. the one because it's always changing all the time in terms of the vibration pattern so you would have to sync it up with the real you who's still alive so you can't like cut off a finger or like an eyeball from Mission Impossible, and uh, can't, you, you can't, and that's that's and that's where it's like cool but scary, mm -hmm. you know, because it's like a yeah. Is it? I, I think in some respects, yes, it's going that way, but it's also what agency do people lose when that happens? You know, um, what's the opt out? You know, every time there's an economic shift, there's always an opt out. It doesn't mean it's it's liked, but there's always an opt out. So, what would be the opt out? in this case and i don't really know but it's it's fun to be on the edge of playing with it to ask of those questions to explore you know what does it look like to program my own ring so i have my own me mm -hmm. source of me in the ring and whatever else happens outside or whatever else happens and changes with me is fine that it changes but i still have source of me that's me um and then whatever you know state owns or private company owns you know that's that's only a part of the of the story it's not the story it's not the equifax you know this is the equifax because it's mine <laughs> you know of, of this so yeah i think it's that's i mean like one of the reasons i do what i do is i think we and you're probably the same i mean you tell me but it's one of those things where if you are on the edge and you are one of the people building it, then being able to live out there, you can see the stuff that's going to come for billions of other people and then get around those problems because you're using it yourself. It's like, man, I don't, I don't want this. Like, why would some overlord like <laughs> design that in? And then you can stand up and go, no, -uh. no, this is not for me. This is not okay. And you know, that's, I mean, that's, I always cite Tron, right? Like that key yeah. moment in Tron Legacy, which is I fight for the user and then he jam he like rammed his ship into the other dude and then like the user is safely scarling by. It's like, yeah, we're out in the front, like taking shrapnel so other people don't have to. It is. And it's fun. Um, it's a heck of a burden at times because you, you, you're like, hey, do I have to be doing this? Can I just fall back? Um, you know, my, my, every three months, do I really not need to be on Facebook to keep up with everybody else kind yeah. of moment? But it's like, okay, what's the cost? What, 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 what's the cost of, of, of feigning ignorance if I know that there's another story in there, there's another thread in there to pull? Um, so it's fun. 
I, 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 it's fun. It's in, I'm somehow figuring out how to make a career out of the way this brain works with it. So it's a career life. <laughs> I think, I think it's one of those things where if you follow, I don't know, whatever the voice is, that little thing of like curiosity, if you follow the curiosity, given a long enough time scale, um, the rest of the world catches up and becomes valuable. I mean, I remember even like 10 years ago, companies were like startups or like software. That's a decade. That's a blip. That's it's literally a blip. And now everyone's like, software, 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 gimme, 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 gimme. And it's just like, whoa. And so now there's just like a huge ram of people coming into the space. And um, that's like, that's great. But it's like, oof, you got to be careful. Like, so I think, you know, I think you're in a great place because we're on yet another precipice where the whole wearables, the 3D computing, AR, VR, AI, blockchain are all coming together. And like eyes, ears, uh, like wrist, fingers, like phone. I mean, all, 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 we all haven't even gotten into like the body wear stuff, like smart Nike gear. Oh, I mean, yeah. I mean, that it's going to be... It's all, that, all of that's here. All of, all of that's here. And so it, it's interesting. Us as men, we 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 have a we actually have a really weird view of this as men because we're like kind of playing with this. And, and I, I truly mean we're playing with understanding this. But then if you talk to the ladies and you realize just how deep they already are with it, you're like, wait a minute. So you're already doing temperature tracking. Da, 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 da. Pause. Help me understand why you do and don't share this. Yeah. You know, help me understand, you know, what are the ethical questions that you have? You know, I, I've got younger you know, godchildren and nieces and all who are between teen years. And I'm like, OK, well, what's the black book? You know, the ladies have a black book. They have a, we right. don't we don't give them. They have a black. I'm yeah, like, we okay, don't get what this is, in there. Yeah, I'm like, OK, but I'm like, but what are you being told about, you know, how you connect with digital tools and connect with tools? What aren't you being told? Um I actually just tweeted on my personal tweet the other day because my, my best friend and um, and my niece actually was at, my niece was asking for Fortnite and Snapchat and she's not quite that age yet. And I'm like, yeah, but at the same time, she's not that age. I was like, well, let me check. I'm like, not really sure. You know, so I'm looking stuff up and it took me forever to find Epic Games' parental controls, by the way, which was really not good. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, that was really not good. And then I found it and I'm like, wait a minute. You guys bartered your information through this service. And I know where this, you know, parent check, kid check service, I know where their data dump happens. Oh, hell no. I shouldn't even be using these services. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You know, and it's like, well, I mean, the, the young ladies, they, but they're in those, those pieces that's part of their conversation. How do you track? How do you find? Um, the adult ladies, they, they have a whole, if I meet a dude and I get two facts about him, I can do a reverse phone lookup and da, 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 da. And I laugh at all. I, I laugh at it all. I'm like, the hell y'all are better than the FBI. I mean, yeah. really, <laughs> and Honestly. Are, you know, but and I'm like, but okay, but you have to be because of there's, um, safety and life concerns. She-Hulk actually hit on us um, in that first episode, which I thought was really dope. <laughs> I started like five minutes and then I got distracted and had to do something ah, else. It's a, it's a good watch. The CG might throw you, CG might, might throw you a little bit here and there because there's some frame drops that are like, yeah! But, <laughs> but as a whole, they, they, they held closer to the comic than you would think they, that they, they could do in a lot of respects, it slash adjusted to today. Um, but, you know, the things that women have to deal with are in a literal different world than we do. So when we're playing with this tech and we're thinking about what works and what doesn't work, um, the ladies, Roe versus Wade, and, and they were all like, okay, take your information out of this period tracking app and maybe use this one instead and don't use this and do these that. And yeah. I'm like, Oh, wait, there's a whole world of, yes, wearables help, but the complications and the ramifications of it, th those are the things that, um, and talk about being ahead and being being in the front and hitting, hitting those things first that I, I, I enjoy running into, asking the questions about being there, um, because then that allows us to 
um, lead with compassion where, where, where it's really needed, um, to lead with curiosity um, rather than just leading with product discovery because those two are two totally different trains. And then, you know, where we have the opportunity to coach up other folks or coach up other teams, it's, then we can we can we can really be an agent of change in that wise because it's not just Antoine uses a couple of iPads. Well, he uses a couple of iPads because he can scribble his ideas much faster than you can type. And if you can scribble faster than you can type, we can get from imagination to concept to doable reality really fast, yeah. um, and actually reduce reduce some of that friction which is inherent in making a decision. You know, we can get to the decisions that matter, the decisions that that hopefully elevate or maybe even stop um, the worst um, from happening. So. Yeah, that was a hell of a process you packed in right there. I mean, that was <laughs> one, two, three, four, five, and you just went all the way from like <laughs> insight, design, discovery, implementation, mm -hmm. organization. Yeah, man. yeah, so true, so true. It, it is, I, 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 I'm done being slow. I think I, and it was around the time of meeting you, actually. I, it's, I remember saying this. It's like, it's like, man, these people don't move fast enough. Where did, and then it was like, oh, wait, Antoine, your brain works differently. Well, you got to slow down. I was like, no, don't slow down. Yeah. Just go. Yeah, just embrace it. Just, just go. <laughs> just embrace it. I mean, the thing, honestly, man, the thing I found is like cycle times. Like the faster you can get iteration and cycle times, like the better the better outcomes because like you're doing I mean it's just like real-time testing and I I mean if you're anything like me which I think you probably are you have your user conversations in your head having the argument with yourself until you like iterate into the spot that sort of like feels okay then you go test that thing yeah like <laughs> Yeah, and that's yeah. why you ride the bike because it's happening while you're riding the bike, and you're like, "Oh shit, I just went ten miles." Like, what? What year is this? <laughs> you know, <laughs> like, did the star systems change? Like, I think I warped somewhere. I did that this week. It was weird, man. It was like time is a funny, funny thing. It's uh, a funny thing. Time is a oh man. I was thinking. I was reading. Was it last week's? It might have been in last week's. Somebody was talking about time, and it was about the, the perception of time is actually being is actually controllable they were talking towards that i think mm -hmm. um which made me go ooh, and i was like yeah, All right, I, I gotta be I, I have to be careful of rabbit holes i went to a rabbit hole last yesterday brian uh, romel he posted a thing about a map and i went on a whole tangent about islands <laughs> there's the afternoon i got gate of the gods as a bookmark i got yep. maps of antarctica that have no ice that are from the 1500s i'm like what the heck this is cool i gotta be careful of tangents but <laughs> do you have, do you have yeah. like the red strings and the sticky things like and then the, the that's why the background's blurry is because you don't want to my, the that's what my, my head brain, looks man. like my head, my head looks like the back. My head, the head looks like the red strings. I, I do have whiteboards all over. I actually got to rewrite my whiteboard. I, um, I, I use an application know. now called Muse because of that. Yeah. And, right. um, Muse um, uh, was it Aunt, um, Heroku, one of the guys who did Heroku. He, uh, him, and his team, Ink and Switch. They, um, they had a concept for an idea. Um, they had a concept for an idea of a tablet first personal idea space. So think notebook. And they, they thought thoroughly around you have a pen, pencil, mm -hmm. and you have your tablet. What does the canvas enable? And I'm like, I'm reading their research and I'm like, yo, give me the app yesterday. I'm like, email them, yo, where's your beta? Hell, give me your alpha. Yes. Muse app is it, and yeah, got it. And it's they eventually website. came out with the product and actually spun out Muse from Ink and Switch, and it's it's a, a measurably dope space because it's not the Notepad, it's not Apple Notes, yeah, but it's similar. It's not Good Notes, Evernote, but it's similar. It's not Miro, Mural, OneNote, Evernote, yeah. but it's similar. It's, but it's, it's similar and it's not because it's coming from the other end of, okay, what are you personally thinking about and how are you taking that personal thought space before it becomes something you stick into a collaborative space or product space, da, da, da. And with Muse, I, I like 
watched my brain actually finally get to the iPad as a canvas and actually be, oh yeah, yeah, let's walk through this spatial interface because it's all boards, it's all space, space. Okay, we got a board over here, content here, and I'm doing this all day. Um, that was used to be my demo of folks. They come, plug the iPad to a monitor, do the minority report thing and swing, yeah. <laughs> you know. Yeah, wow, that looks like the future. I'm like, it can't be the future. I'm doing it in front of you. The question right. is, why isn't the rest of what we do fitting with our brain, fitting with the way that we work? And now we've seen craft and notion and, and other, you know, items that have actually kind of clicked. It's kind of clicked for folks like, wait, we need to build software around the way that we think, not think around the way that we build the software. And those kind of things have allowed for those connections for me. Uh, those connectomes to really just like kind of extra just pop um and so now it's fun it's it's absolutely fun so between muse and mind node because i'll mind map something in a heartbeat if uh once it gets past the extra the antoine idea phase i'll mind map the mess out of it um and that's actually part of what part of my teaching techniques now it's like can we mind map this can we can we get to some goals issues and resources and here what it is that we're aiming for? Do we know what connects to these items? Do we do we have some sense of the space um, of it, of the of the the, sh the shape of it? Um, and that map in a, ends up on, uh, weirdly enough. That map usually answers everybody else's questions. You know, I'm helping them make a map, not not necessarily solving their problems anymore. Which I'm, I think that's 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 the route. You know, yeah, it's like just like show you visually what you're describing and play mm -hmm. it back to you and you're just like whoa magic <laughs> it, it reminds me a lot of like brett victor i don't know if you've dealt mm -hmm. yeah, yeah 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 like yeah. inventing on principle but the thing i'm super duper excited about and you're 100 percent right on these like crude tools um is three-dimensional space where we can build ideas as physical three-dimensional spatial objects in front of mm -hmm. us and play with concepts in a collaborative co-located environment. So you and me in a room and we both got the glasses on and we're messing around with like, here's a triangle which represents this concept and we're literally connecting the triangle to the square and energizing it because it's software as well. And like it, I think with some of the other tools like AI in there and like being able to pull up research information and plug it in there, like I, you, we just have to get to that space because I want to build Tron, but in terms of tools, so we can build on the tools, you know, like a physical space of, like a physical space, not of furniture, but of ideas. Mm -hmm. which mm -hmm. is nuts to think about like can you sit in a chair that is like um like how to connect two concepts together like what does that even mean like that's mm -hmm. weird and random it's like we need a better way to create and interact with tools like we're working with hammers trying to build a skyscraper and it's just like it's not it's not the down. right it, it, it's it's no longer the right tool we're, we're, we're for the thing that we're trying to do it's no longer and so my, I, I guess my friend says I'm being nicer these days about it. I'm not really nice, <laughs> but I'm being nicer these days. Controlled. Um, I don't think the mouse and keyboard was an excellent long-term direction because it takes that indirect manipulation takes us away from finding better tools. Mm -hmm. Now, that doesn't mean that keyboard isn't optimized for a certain type space of input it doesn't mean mouse isn't optimized when you don't think about certain you know insets or mouse or if you will controller surface isn't but there's something about direct input that's a different part of your brain and that's where for me with muse compared to like all of the other all of the other notes programs yeah made a difference because muse forced me to go as a force it was just like hey you want to use your fingers on your left hand while you're drawing with your right hand yes i do i want to use most of my digits i don't want to have a tablet and literally be constrained to three fingers <laughs> and that's all i can use because that's thinking like a mouse that's thinking like a keyboard i want to use 10 fingers and hell i can use my palms if i want to 
And it starts to get into that space of, okay, now I can de I can work in space. I can pull content in two fingers to, you know, to, to kick it away or zoom, not zoom. I've got all the multitasking gestures, da, 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 da. But it's like, okay, well, once I have this, then what? Well, it's up to me to pull the idea into space and then do something with it. Now it's, it's less me dealing with the tool and it's more me dealing with my ideas. And that shape of work, that shape of computing, that shape of augmented space. Um, yeah, we're, we, I'm agree with you. We, we ain't there, but we, we could have been there, you know, to, to Engelbart's words, we should have been there 40 years ago. <laughs> True. But yeah. I will say, like, I'll, I'll give our species credit. Look, like, we've got 5 billion people on the internet now. We've got almost everybody has some type of phone. I mean, obviously, we have third world issues we got to deal with, but we're hey, no, no, they have phones. It's yeah. not the third world. They, they got phones. Yeah. <laughs> so, I mean, look, we've got people connected. We've got devices. We're getting access to each other and information. Now we're dealing with the consequence of pulling back the veneer on everybody and like everyone what they really think is coming out at scale and now the species is trying to deal with the fact that like everybody has an opinion and like we knew it but we weren't confronted with it until facebook and it's like oh damn i thought i knew you and like i don't know you now and, uh, and so it's like it had to happen and maybe it happened in the right way because what if what if we had better tools and it allowed maybe it would accelerate too fast where you know it's like that uh it's it's the old thing like why have we not heard of another species from any other planet or system and like it's the great filter essentially and like maybe we're going at the right speed it's like trees trees mm -hmm. that grow too fast or weak and mm -hmm. their trunks aren't as strong we trees that grow slowly are strong and last for hundreds of years so i'm gonna be positive and say maybe it's a good thing i don't know though uh <laughs> I, 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 all, all, all i know is that we're doing a really crappy job of imitating mushrooms that's 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 what i put our connectivity as we're, we're doing a horrible job of imitating yeah. mushrooms and I, I got my plants next to me right here and they're probably laughing at me in plant language like, um my, the slime you know, mold stuff kind of thing uh well no i mean we should you know and, and taking from the trees and taking from my leeciums and, and mushrooms what have you fungi yeah there there is a we're trying to be like that um that i think okay cool you know as a species i don't want to say hive mind but we want to be this interdependent brainage of stuff um but like every good virus you know you know where some parts of us are not quite developed and some parts are way out of control <laughs> boy truth facts <laughs> you know um facts, man but that and that's i think that's also where being on the you know on 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 the edges of experimentation with with devices services processes procedures also is it ends up being helpful sometimes hurtful um it's like okay hey um i i look back at some old old work of mine old old old, old work and i'm reading i'm like dang i had the basis for human centered design way back in 2001 2002 i didn't know that yeah. there you wasn't know, a name then, for it there wasn't a name there really wasn't a name I mean, there yeah. was human factors you know but it wasn't really you know human okay cool but then it was like wait i shifted i shifted from human face design to humane design to totally different thoughts almost nobody talks about you what does it mean to be humane human-centered design is 100 business lingo and a good slice of oh crap we forgot we messed up so we need to get better humane actually looks at oh crap what are the implications of us not actually caring for one another when we do this right. which is that is that next step. That's that's that. Yeah. You know, when a, when a tree in my little my Norfolk evergreens that have been ever dead for the last two years, you know, when they died, it was like, well, I'm watching the big one that was resilient die, and I'm like, oh wow. And then whatever it got sick with passed to the small ones. I'm like, that's tree centric, tree main, you know, 
I was like, human human centered design would have said, just move the pot. <laughs> that, that, yeah. That's sick. And the other one should be okay. Humane design says, no, even if you move it, the others are going to be affected because they talk. Yeah. So what things do you put in place? You know, what things do you take away? You know, how do you put um, so say the other one. how do you put boundaries around your time so that you can and you got an hour in between meetings go for a walk you can walk for 45 minutes and just clear your head in between me well i can't leave you can leave the desk it's yeah. your home get yeah. outside <laughs> you have agency over yourself like they do not have power over you you have power over yourself like yeah. take that walk i'm a big firm believer in that for sure yeah Take and so one. it's like when you're when you think of humane design and, and or life-centered design as monica will call it you're thinking we're now thinking less about okay let's just build it because we can build it and test it because yeah. we can test it well let's actually go through the whole thought experiment of what if we did what if we did you know who's helped who's hurt what narrative can we not escape about this what narrative should we escape if we do this um okay now forget the money do we do it because it's humane or do we not <laughs> and you can't ask questions like that i was like well you can and you should and we should explore and you know and that's why we have really great comic book artists and sci-fi folks and speculative fiction folks because we can we can have and pull on them hey can we explore this thing what if this thing was like this so we we might spend the money on it, but we might test it in a different way. We can test the money on Tron because we've got a few movies and a few books. We, 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 we've tested it. We we know what our visceral reaction is to, we don't want to be here. We want to be here. <laughs> you know, so, so true. It's, it's, it's taking those pieces. And I'm hoping over the next, um, I've got a project starting uh, next week, um, starting on next week. Um, I'm hoping to add a bit of that kind of, push um into how this particular company thinks not just about engineering and software development but okay they're doing it for um for for you know organizational agencies i was like okay cool how do we pull that in that's not human centered that's being humane and yeah. we're going to go sketch a, an approach that actually that if it doesn't work the really cool part is if it doesn't work we actually learn the right lesson and if it does work we learn the right lesson <laughs> the only way we don't learn the lesson is if we don't approach it in, in, in this manner and that's the the thing behind my you know using the spectacles and the auras and the nfc rings it's you you've got to find the stories the, the the things to pull on um there's you know there's a ledger wallet sitting around here you know and a not and a paper wallet and all that good fun stuff no that's all I, I, it's, it's play with i play with all of those things yeah I play right with, but it's but it's like let's play let's see what happens if and then at the same time seeing what happens if what are the implications if not you know and, um, and the implications are can be huge you know if i'm um in those regions that um agency online really doesn't exist some of this stuff really matters <laughs> and you know what you just you know what you just invented is aol 2.0 agency online <laughs> <laughs> well yeah that's just it you know i i think somebody said man the internet's getting polluted i was like what can we do about it i'm like you can technically just unplug the servers it'll it, it'll all go away i mean yeah. you uh, Every every data center can just be unplugged. They all they they all work via the same. Just really, just just unplug them. <laughs> or, don't, or don't look at your phone. You you know you don't look the, at your phone. Well, I, I don't even I I, I I I don't even have a don't look at my phone moment because somebody said, hey, Antoine, is there any time you don't look at your phone? I was like, I almost never look at my phone, but I got two tablets and a watch. I'm looking at those all the time. <laughs> just <laughs> different I, size screens. <laughs> You're like, what do you mean? I'm like, I said, being connected doesn't mean being overwhelmed. You've got to figure out, and everybody's got to figure out what their Shannon limit is. You got 41 bits of information you can take in. Well, what what does that limit look like? And you got to live within that rather than trying to extend yourself out of that. And if, you know, as I used to say to my team, I was like, y'all can't possibly process this as fast as I am. I've been doing this for a while. Yeah. You're not. Here's the thing that you can do. Take notes i don't care how you take notes just take notes 
I well, still, who's taking? I still do it. I'm <laughs> 41 years old. I've been taking my own notes on every call since I was a kid. Yeah. Like you learn 10 times faster and then you have a resource to go back to when you need, when you're forgetting something, you exactly. go over those notes and you're like, ah, there we go. There it is. Exactly. Cause that, that's where, that's where the connections happen. I think, you know, and um, the, the, the sleep book that I wrote, that I read queen of sleep um, was her, her moniker um, woman. She was at the head of sleep research. And she, she talked about, um, we think there's a problem with creativity, you know, ethical creativity, because folks aren't getting enough REM sleep. And I go, True. and I go, wait, 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 wait. She she isolated it to a stage. I was like, wait, and all the whole book was a whole thing of sleep and what they learn and not learn and da 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 da. And I was like, wait, REM sleep is important. I was like, wait, but most folks don't activate REM sleep unless medically induced and they they get they get past the deep sleep and they can get in there, or their body basically starts to shut down and say, we need to clean ourselves. Mm. We we got we got to dream. We we've got yeah. to dream. We we can, can, we got to dream. And so I'm looking back at my aura ring, and I'm like, man, my REM sleep is like jacked up. Like I'm like like sleeping the way I should. And then I'm comparing to you know some friends, and uh, I'm like, okay, hey, life circumstance. I'm like, wait a minute, all you married dudes, y'all get a lot of REM sleep. You know, your wives cause you to dream that much. What are you running away from? <laughs> Deep cuts. Deep cuts. <laughs> you know. Wait, so what did you do? What did you do to like get more REM sleep? That's hugely uh, I, I had to actually adjust my sleep time. Um like early? back it up by about an hour. So instead of like eleven, I had to do like no later than 10, 10 30. Um and I had to stay in bed um for the duration of the last dream cycle. Cause sometimes I would I, I would shut it short. I would have to actually finish the last dream cycle. Hmm. and oh wow measurable improvement <laughs> could, you, could you could you feel it or was it just the ring you can feel it yeah you can. Mm -hmm. yeah 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 yeah. because so the, the 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 problem with a lot of folks is that we actually don't listen to our body to wake up we listen to it to go to sleep sometimes we ignore the first two yawns because there's a yawn there's a yawn slash energy drop temperature drop that happens about like 90 minutes to two hours before you're ready to go to sleep. It's your body basically saying, hey, guess what? Shut it down. You need to do whatever you need to do. Just <laughs> shut it down. Go to the bathroom, get to bed, <laughs> it's time. You know, and then you get, get, you get the yarn. Yeah, man, yeah, get to sleep. <laughs> but when you're asleep, um, there's, a, there's a natural waking moment. There's like, na there's natural crest where we can wake up and we're, we yeah. feel refreshed. We've completed the night, da, 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 da. Our mind has washed itself clean. I was cutting mine off hmm. by waking up the way I was. And it's like, oh, oh, okay. Where's that happening? Roughly where's that happening? And what eventually happened, um, and it's happened beautifully, gracefully over time, I'm now waking up with the sun. Yeah. Which was actually the thing that my body, it was like, hey, listen, I need you to wake up with the sun. You don't necessarily need to get out of bed, but you need to be awake with the sun. And so the sun comes up, those points in the early, late spring early summer where the sun comes up over here at 5 30 in the morning i'm pissed off like the hell man i don't nice. want to be awake <laughs> <laughs> but that's at the end of the crest and that's where i'm the dreams are completed at that point and that that the rim sleep is actually oh wow i'm hitting rim the way i need oh, okay cool i'm seeing the heart rate drop where it needs to da, 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 from so from a quantitative end I'm seeing the numbers to validate, oh, wow, I'm actually in the spot that I need to be to actually wake up. And so let me continue that. Let me, and those pieces, and that's supposed to be an Alzheimer's, you know, prevention method, of, AKA get good sleep in your forties and you don't get Alzheimer's in your sixties. Oh, that's, word? I never heard that. That's really interesting. Yeah. So um, the study was done primarily with women because guys don't live that long. Um <laughs> Sucks. Oh, another thing. Um, but it was um, Alzheimer's. A, a uh, onset of Alzheimer's was actually um, pointed to a lack of sleep, a lack of a full night's sleep of women in their 40s. Mm. Part of the study actually traced it to what the women were doing in their 20s, which I thought was hella dope. Which was and I'm like, wait, 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 wait. 
I'm what like, are they doing in their 20s? Partying all night. Da, 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 da. Well, we're all screwed then. <laughs> like, we're all done. <laughs> like we're gonna have to cut out college and youth for that. So yeah, like but it was it was so interesting. It was like, but these ladies, they said the, the women started recognizing that they couldn't do a full night's sleep in their 40s and hormonal menopause, da 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 da, you know, for them. But it was because this happened and now they got used to the stress of not sleeping. Oh man. It led to the buildup that caused Alzheimer's in their 60s, 70s, 80s. And I'm like, what? It's like plaque in your brain that hasn't been cleaned out from just sleep. It's like the broom that just says, it's, like comes in every night and it's like just cleaning up shop. You, you got to get the you got to get the sleep. So and it was so I learned that and I'm going to my mom like, are you sleeping during the night? She's like, of course not. I wake up at two in the morning and I'm wide awake and I'm like, oh, okay, all right, Antoine, how do you plan for a parent that may get Alzheimer's if these are some of the things? You know, how do you plan, how do you build the home, you know, legal things. Now, here, again, wearable technology comes in, we get mom the Apple Watch. Hey, mom, I want you to monitor, you know, you want to monitor, have you monitor your heart wave. We'll, we'll get notes if things are awry, you fall or things of that sort. But I need to get you on regular motion, get you tired. You know? yeah. You're retired now. You, your job is to go to the YMCA and just exercise with the girls. <laughs> uh, I think it's. I think it's just all so connected, right? I mean, it's like, like my chiropractor said, motion is lotion, right? Like that's the best thing you can do. Just motion is lotion, stretching fine. Like just getting up, standing up, walking. The exercise, right? It just cleans out your mind, your body. It gets you more tired so you can have a better night's sleep. It processes food better, makes you hungry. You taste the food better. Your metabolism kicks up. And then the system, it's like this gamification thing, like yep. create boosts and it starts, you feel better. I mean, I'll tell you just personally, man, like the last couple of years when COVID went, I went really hard into work mode, like nonstop, like building multiple companies at the same time. And I just got to this place where it was just like pure and utter burnout. I couldn't do it anymore. Like I had... I mean, I wasn't drinking a lot, but I was like drinking, I wasn't exercising and I had exercised my whole life. And I finally just got to the point at like my 41st birthday in May. And I was like, what am I doing? Like, you know, you, you have the things that society says you should have. And it's like, but none of it means anything. And it's just like, doesn't feel good. And I just said, all right, we're done here. And just like wiped the board clean. And I haven't had a drop alcohol since. I've been exercising regularly. I've had the Apple watch. So I've seen the trend line and everything's kicked up by like 50 or a hundred percent. And, um, everything is improved. Everything's improved. And like, you're younger, you feel better, you're happier. Like you engage with other people better. You're healthier. You're more creative. You can do more. It doesn't feel as bad, like your quality, quality above, above, quality above. And so it's like, why wouldn't you? And I think, I think it's a mental block. Oh, no, it's 100% a mental block. But it's so the, the mental block is that I'll be okay, or I can do it later. Yeah. Um, later tomorrow. Know, there's yeah. tomorrow. There's tomorrow. the, I don't know how. Um, so I, I'm in a unique, I've been in a, in a pretty unique posture um I was working with one company uh, i left them in october of last year and i took two months off yeah and i had never been in a financial spot where i could take two months off of a company right. and just be like fine i was like i feel fine. Like, whatever I whatever feel that. Was, yeah you know, kids getting christmas gifts all the guy kids got great, great christmas gifts I was, I was like i was like great i was like damn i've not been like this ever um but then it was like well the two months are over and i'm like yo yo hey there's a shape of work that I actually see that's a lot better. Let me do this. Yeah. And so, so it was like, hey, kick back up with Avance. I have to file the business paperwork finally with the state. So it's extra official. <laughs> no, no, they, they will be taxing me like crazy this year. <laughs> Comes last. Yeah. <laughs> you know, but it was like, um, but it was like, okay, well, what are you doing? Well, you wake up in the morning, you know, I'll bet the, I'm, I'm up, at, I'm up, you know, roughly sunrise, I get, 30, 40 minutes of I'm just a slow, slow, slow starter. Then I do my yoga. 
Yeah. And it's like, there's no meetings before yoga. There's no talking yeah. to people before yoga. Um, and I know if I'm late doing yoga because the trash truck comes, if I'm not doing it by that point, then it's I'm late because we, we're roughly at the same time. I was like, okay, cool. You know, and then it's, you know, one with the day and some of the days is, okay, well, we're going to go bike to the cafe. Okay, which cafe? Or I'm going to go sit with one of my mentors. You know, we bike, we go to a cafe or we go to breakfast like we did this morning and we sit, we chat for a few hours and then we go on with the day. And it's, wait, the shape of work is looking like, hey, you're doing intentional for you. You're setting your mind. You have a time of collaboration. You've got exercise or movement in between. Then you got a time of collaboration. Um, what I've done, like this time of the day for me is just be out of the sun. I, I would like to be outside, but the UV is high. It's like, take care of your skin. Don't yeah. be outside. Okay, cool. But then come 4, 4.30, it's, hey, it's time to go for that walk or go for that ride. Let's transition. And that shape of work has merited all of these kind of, oh, that's what you've been thinking, Antoine. Oh, that's what you want to explain. Here's how you would, you can help folks go, oh, Afonso is easy. I can help you go forward because now, um, to quote my 24-year-old mentee, I want to work like you do. I don't know. The hell do you want to do this for? This is hard. <laughs> I'm still trying to work like I work. Yeah, you know what I mean? Like I'm still trying to figure it out. Yeah. Yeah. But she's like, but you, 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 she's like, you have a flow to it, and your flow doesn't look as stressful as I said, oh, I see what you see. Let's let's help you create the shape of life that works for you. Now I'm, you're not gonna be me, but let's create the shape of life that works for you. And I think for a lot of us that's on this edge, whether it's tech or, or behavior, we have a shape of living that grants us a kind of agency to live, a freedom to live, that is what we should be doing. We, we, we should be expanding our knowledge and expanding our connections. But a lot of folks get stuck um, mm -hmm. and it is a mental, it's a mental block. Um, and we might get stuck in the, in the being like everyone else, you know, can you see 41, I'm 43 and I've still not done the, the wife and kids thing yet, you know, and it's like, man, I'm not a wife and kid. I've, I've got friends whose kids are going to college. I'm like, Wait, your kids are going to what? Oh man, I'm really behind. Mind and it's like, well, well, but am I really behind? I mean, I spent 12 years doing a magazine that actually helped a whole lot of people out. Yeah. Well, maybe I'm not behind. I just went in reverse of everybody else. Y'all are going this way and I'm doing this way. Okay, yeah. cool. Benjamin Button style. I'm just getting younger, you know. There's no, <laughs> there's, there's no rules of this thing. And honestly, yeah. I, I feel you with the work cadence thing. Like that's the spot that I found. And it's, it feels like you could, you know, you're in the right cadence when it doesn't feel like work and you could do it forever. Yeah. And yeah. That's like a different feeling than I think most people are used to, which is like shove as much coffee as possible down your throat and an army crawl to your work and just like grit your teeth through it and then collapse at the end of the day which is like that's no way to live for 20 at all 40 50 60 70 years you gotta no find way to live a way for one out. year <laughs> yeah you just if, like you gotta find a way out like if it takes a pay cut like work smarter not harder like get a mm -hmm. different thing like a better environment, like a better team, a better culture, and like it, just find a way out. Well, it, it's find a way out. But I mean, I was talking to the waitress this morning, and actually, we're going to talk later on. I would, I was it? She was like, "I'm I'm just tired of the nine to five thing." And I was yeah. like, "Okay, I hear you." But if all things were paid, if all your bills were paid, all the all things that you just woke up in the morning and did what you do, yeah, what would you do? Right. What are you doing? And, your that's the lottery question, you know, like you won the lottery. What exactly would you do? And so many folks are like, well, I would travel. I'm like, no, 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 no. That's not after, the right answer. After that. What would you do? <laughs> you know, you're going to go to this new place. Are you going to bring them smallpox? Or are you going to, you know, <laughs> just buy all the touristy stuff? What are you going to do? <laughs> you know, what are you, you going to do? Um, that's me to say bring them smallpox. It's, it's true, but it's, it's me. <laughs> but it's like, hey. And, and folks are like, well, you know, I really don't know. I was like, at the end of the day, you've got to make your imprint on this world. Um, because we don't have, we don't have time. And in the pantheon, that is eternity in 
Thank you, James Webb Telescope, for showing us just how little time that we really, 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 really don't have. You have like that much of a moment. And so what are you going to do with this, with this speck, this breath, this, this piece of light, this piece of stardust that we are? What are we going to do? And man, I've been scared, excited to help other people kind of, you know, figure that out, whether it's a small thing of, hey, we're trying to do diversity, equity, and inclusion. Well, that's nice, but why? <laughs> now, that's why. I was like, but why? You know, you know, what, why? What, what, what exactly does that, what, how does that forward what you do in this world and what the imprint is? Or the other groups that say, hey, I want to play with XYZ Tech. One of my other mentees, he just picked up the NFC ring. Because he's like, yo, the whole business card thing you do when you, you made me tap your ring is so cool. And I'm like, I'm like, okay, cool. But you got to understand, I'm older than you. You have to, what I'm doing is your floor. You have to imagine better. Yeah. So what can you imagine better than this? And he's like, oh, oh, all right. I see you. I see you. And I was like, good. Come, come. Spring glory. Yeah. yeah. And I don't know. If, if, if we can build lives that do that, will, will this world get better? Moment by moment, yeah. Is this still going to be crap? Yeah, no, it is. But man, um, I can't help but say, okay, in this time, let's be the right agent. Let's, let's use the, the, the freedoms, the activity, this moment. We were born in this time. You know, we weren't born earlier, thankfully for me. I wasn't born later. Probably also thankful for folks. <laughs> I'm not here. <laughs> what can we do in this moment that creates the right dent, the right steps, so that folks can, um, man, go forward? And I, that doesn't mean we have to have the answers. You know, what I mean, the United States of America can turn into the eleven countries of America for all I care. But in the, the people in them, are we building? Are we building towards a sustainable, equitable? usable world that that treats people as people um and not as resources that yeah. embraces yeah we're connected but we're going to be more like mylecium and we're going to be more like the tree roots and we're going to be a little less <laughs> like sand <laughs> you know the, you know sand is connected but sand is kind of abrasive when it connects you know so what, what can we do around that um i think it's possible and i think the platform I'm, sh I'm, I'm shaping with Avance allows me to be be a part of that, to connect with yourself and others who are doing that, and just whatever forward looks like. You know, what does it look like for us to pick that knee up and take the next step forward? Mm -hmm. Let's do it. Um, and then from there, we can answer the questions of okay, we took the step forward. What did we step in? We stepped in poo. We need to turn it into energy. <laughs> <laughs> but nobody yeah. has to anymore. Yeah, I think, I think that's it, man. I think it's just, I think the first step is people need to step into their own shoes and just do that inner work to figure out like what, what gets me going. Yeah. What like make me good with me. Mm -hmm. And then if there's enough of us that are like cool with me as me, each of us are going to have like very unique perspective skills experience that when those small world networks come together, magic will happen organically from the center of all of that. That's, yes. that's what I'm really excited about. And that's what I can't, you know, it's like sometimes you, people like us, we can see a few steps ahead because we're in it and we know where it's going and we also build part of it. But that's the piece that's just completely blind on the other side because you don't know what comes out of that it's gonna be it can be pretty cool I, that's what i'm excited about like in the next five ten years who it, knows? it could be cool it could be scary i but i but i all i know is that i i want to be i don't want to be a, i don't want to be on the side watching for yeah junk, that, that's for darn sure you know now i'm I'm not the builder that you know i wish i wish i was you know I, well i would love to be the coder that i, I really would if I can imagine myself to be, that would be great because that other NFC ring 
would be doing things that y'all have no clue what I have in my back pocket as imagining. <laughs> I got stuff. Um, you know, I, that's just that's why you just need like a really hot engineer to sit next to you, and then like you know anybody that knows yeah. from Java, you know, you know anybody that knows Java, Java ME and Java OS and knows how to program a ring, you, 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 we we can we can chat because I I got I got the thought. Yeah, um, I, yeah, man. I, I mean, that's that, that's, that, why yeah, okay. doing, that's honestly why I'm doing this stuff yeah. because I forget. Like, I don't even know. I, I forget everybody that, you know, I've come across in work situations over the last couple of decades. And this is why I'm doing this to to bring that stuff out and start instead of connecting dots, connect people. So mm -hmm. new dots can emerge. Mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. Crazy shit can come that can help people. And that's what I don't know what's going to happen, but I'm doing it. And people are starting to like, I see it happening. It's like a like, pew, pew, pew. Yeah, man. like real slow just like real slow it's like tink tink and it's early we're like two weeks in and this yeah yeah i'm excited for like two years in it's gonna be like pew, 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 pew. i man I'm, it's why i'm amped i mean it, that's just why i'm amped on the on, on all of on, on on all of this and i'm also a little sober-minded as well because i i understand um in my position i'm at hella blessed um you know, I'm man. I've I've been invited into places that I had no business being invited into. And, you did uh, the work, though, man. You did. You put in the hours. You did the work. You did the I did. the thinking. I did. The thought. You bought the rings. You thought about it. You used them, right? Like you put in the work. That's yeah. the difference. You put in the work, and well, you were just... there when the work was like, "Hey, I don't know anything about this," and you were like, "Oh, well, that's just da 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 da." Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> yeah, because you spent years, 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 <laughs> years. I, I, I was telling a friend of mine, he was poking me about, you know, about, 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 about an item. I was like, oh, man, those that group still exist? Man, I remember when they were just babies and they were doing da 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 He was like, oh, you know about them? I was like, well, I'm kind of responsible for them. Let me take, point you to this. He was like, wait, what all have you done? I was like, oh. <laughs> there's this trail on the internet where if you actually know how to follow it <laughs> there's this road and it's like and i and i thought about it. i sat there and was like wow i've actually done a lot of stuff oh okay cool all right what else we want to do what else we want to invent yeah what's you know, next what, what else you know i've got my email server sitting next to this ipad okay well my email server is sitting next to my iPad. Yeah, why not? Why not host your own email? I used to host my own website on yeah. a phone. So that was, <laughs> I, miss, I miss doing that. God, I miss doing that. <laughs> yeah, that's it right there, man. It's like, go back so you can go forward and like, oh, this yeah. is kind of interesting. Let's see what comes out of this. Some yeah. weird remix. So, so, something weird, something possible, something impossible. And it's it's funny. It's even less for me. Is as much. I mean, my niece and my nephew. They're they're. Oh, uncle, you're doing that. We want to do it with you. I'm like, oh yes, I messed with the yes. You know, goddaughter just got an Apple Watch. I'm like, ooh yeah. <laughs> I'm like, she has no clue what she has on her wrist, but I'm going. We're gonna walk right on through. We're gonna walk through all of the school likes it, doesn't like it, calculator talk to Siri talking to you in class right yeah okay make sure let me, let's make sure you got your airpods and we, we, we can definitely do the calculator in the class you know kind of moment you can't use your calculator in class why not y'all got ti-83s i got Siri what's the, what's the difference <laughs> you know it, it, it really you know and then what, whatever she invents because you know she's phenomenal god she's phenomenal so helping helping those helping that group who Man, I mean, we thought, we, we think it's crazy. All right, we think it's crazy the kids who, you know, were born in 97, 98, who don't know the world without the internet, yeah. right? But my niece is 10. Yeah. It's not just not know the world without the internet. She doesn't know a world without an iPad-based internet. Yeah, it's like, you're born, here's your standard in issue iPad and your internet and your internet. <laughs> yeah. So it's like when she's when she says, you know, I want to get on Snap, 
And I'm like, whoa, pause. Help me understand what you're trying to do. Because I know what it does. I know I was architect. Yeah, I know why I it was much. invented. <laughs> <laughs> I know why. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Like, hey. Help me understand. Help me understand what you what you and your friends are trying to do. And why the heck are your friends on that anyway? <laughs> <laughs> you know, and then it's like, oh man, we gotta have the conversation. Yeah, we gotta have the conversation, the conversation. I gotta have that with my godsons as well. Um we did I, I did a, a conversation back some years back when I worked at a Y. They sat a couple kids down with their parents and I said, here's what you don't share on your phones. <laughs> and I was very explicit with the wording and I, and I was de deliberately explicit with the wording. I was like, here's what you don't do because here's the rules in this state for if this is found. Kids looked at me with that. Why would you yeah. say it in front of my parents? <laughs> and I was like, uh-huh, yeah. Parents looking at me like, wait, they do this? I'm like, the heck, y'all used to do it too. What the heck? Yeah. It's just on a phone versus a magazine. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> you know, you know, instead of looking, peering at the, the pay-per-view with your squinty eyes, now they're just looking at Snapchat. <laughs> the, the snow. Yeah. The snow. yeah. yeah. You know, yeah. and so it's 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 helping folks say, okay, hey, but these are the implications of using this. We can go forward. Mm -hmm. We can enable some really cool stuff. And there's some some hella dangerous stuff. I mean, the oldest industries in the world, sex and drugs, ain't going nowhere. Yeah, <laughs> sure. And taxes. Taxes isn't really as old as those guys, though. I mean, well, yeah, you know, are you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Are you? <laughs> I guess. I mean, yeah. even like seeds and grain. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, yeah. There was, there was, there was, there was the taxes, gangsters right? and taxes. Gangsters and taxes is kind of. Yeah. Oh, let me go to Samurai. Let me go to Seven Samurai. It's about time to go watch that again. <laughs> That's a good one. Yeah, but hey, I know we we spent four hours plus chatting, man. We can you and I can do this like forever. Um, I mean, yeah, no, I. I enjoy these moments and um, I enjoy these kind of connects because like folks like yourself spark me to be better, um, be wiser, um, and then just keep experimenting. Um, yeah. I'm debating yeah. whether it's a Microsoft duo that I'm going to play with because I really want, I, I really need to get around the whole folding phone kind of thinking. Um, there's yeah. something about tr a transformative, transformative glass that yeah. I, that I, that's next on the list. Yeah, I like it. I think it's rad. I want. I want to get one. Yeah, I don't know when. I would just I play with it a little bit, but I can't get out of the Apple ecosystem. Well, that's the kind of the other. Well, I need something that's out of the Apple ecosystem, ish. Um, yes, so I still have a. I still have a selfish, selfish OS tablet and phone. I just upgraded, updated them last night. Um, I was like, wow, that old platform still exists. Oh, cool. This is great. All right. And this is like it's like the, the Android supported platform that's not Android that was funded by half by you know Eastern Europe. I was like, oh yeah, let me go play with this some more and see if anything's changed. And you know, that's today's homework to see if anything's changed and what has and what hasn't and how has the Android ecosystem adopted to America Android, if you will, Google versus global Android, which is not Google mobile services enabled, which might be you know Chinese services or Yannick's and the Russian side or or or, or 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 so I'm curious and then there's the material you side of things you know yeah. this adaptive idea of an adaptive interface and that being the interface language for things beyond phones and wearables mm -hmm. it's like okay so well what do y'all want to do what does Meta want to do and Unity Engine what do y'all what do y'all really plotting on doing is this all like silicon drugs to make us go to another world you know <laughs> you know i mean we could have just stayed with psychedelics and you know just ran the random machine like you know but <laughs> whatever like the record button <laughs> yeah. well cool man it's been uh it's been wonderful catching up let's uh let's do this again yes and, uh yeah, keep the contacts coming. Appreciate you sending over that stuff yesterday. I still haven't had a chance to look at it yet, but oh, I'll take it. Yeah, yeah, she yeah, uh, she liked a couple tweets, so she's I'm gonna... got some stuff. She she mm -hmm. she dove in and um, out of some stuff. I was really yeah intrigued. <laughs> she would do it at Compound VC like many years ago in the prom days, but uh, yeah, she seems highly capable and intelligent. So I need to like 
chat with her a little bit, I think. Cool, cool man. All right. All have right, a man. great weekend. You too as well. You too as well. Enjoy that Cali sun. Kind of jealous. Tennessee now. I haven't been in Cali for Wait, a you're in Tennessee? Really? Yeah, I'm in Nashville okay. area. Nashville? That's a, that's a, that's not even a two-hour flight. I know. Oh, we need to get together in person at some point. I'm going to do a road show. I'm just going to start traveling around the U.S. a little bit like later this year after I get some stuff done. Okay. Um. Yeah, yeah, I'll stop by. Yeah, if you're if you're passing yeah. between anywhere between yeah. DC and Philly, I'm probably there. Um, I'm probably. And yeah. I'm trying to make an escape from Florida after holo- ho- after a hurricane season, just to just ju- just to die, just to throw my brain near the Gulf slash the Atlantic. But uh, <clears throat> yeah, we'll figure it out. I'll do a train like from New York or something, and then we'll we'll spend an afternoon or something together and plot against the world. <laughs> Sounds like a plan. Sounds like a plan. <laughs> cool. All right, All right, man. Thanks so much for taking the time. I'm going to, I'll chop up, make an edit or whatever. And um, yeah, if there's anything you feel like you don't want to share, just let me know. And... Share it all. Share it all. No, I, I didn't say anything that's not shareable. That's, that's okay. the fun part. <laughs> got, I've got the, I've got the, 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 the blind list of things that you can't say. There's yeah. Two. It's like, on the wall. <laughs> yeah. Like, like George Carlin, the seven cuss words you can't say on television or whatever. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah, the OG, man. He was original. <laughs> cool, man. All right. All right man. Have, a, have good a good weekend. weekend. You too as well. Take care. Talk to you. Bye. Peace.